Alright, welcome to a hopefully useful video on how to make an overlay for any game that you are playing. There are many videos out there uh, you can check on YouTube, but I thought I would make this for the Game Breaker Nation people. Uh, I'm using OBS and my microphone is poo poo, so yes, my audio quality is bad. But that doesn't matter because you just want to see how to make the overlay. OBS is free. Uh, I Free is means no money. Inkscape is also open source, so that's also free. That means no money. And, yeah, that's good. I recommend Inkscape, Inkscape, get Inkscape. Um, it's a scalable vector graphics software which allows you to scale your graphics smoothly without any um, loss of quality uh, you'll see I'll show you in a second okay uh, also you'll need um, a picture of your game the game you want to stream because of the UI the user interface you'll have like something here or you'll have some things here I don't know where your chat window is or you'll, you'll have your magic your skills, your tools, your weapon, whatever you call the skills. You know, if you change your UI, then you'll probably have to change your overlay. So, um, that's all you need. And so you you open up Inkscape, and you take your screen capture, and you put it into the Inkscape, and you okay, that's good. I'll embed that. All right, there you go. Do 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 do. do, do that. All right, there it is. It's in Inkscape. Okay, yay! It's in here. All right, now all we have to do is draw boxes. All right, so mm, let's just cover up the stuff we want to hide. So, oh, I don't want to let people see my chat window there. So I'll cover that up with the pink box, and then I don't want them to see my super secret skill. Over here, I'll cover that up there. It's super secret. Oh, but there's a little circle there. Oh, no. We'll, we'll make a circle. Do you like circles? Yes. Let's make them. All right. There. There's a circle there. Oh, okay. But oh, look, there's a line. You, you can remove that, or you can join the things to make it make it into one. We union. The, there you go. Oh, now it's a nice thing. And let's say we have some funky, like, shape. We can use this kind of tool to outline it. And you can make this shape kind of like however you want. Um, okay, like that. You can modify the nodes, these little points. And you can stretch them and you can make them all curvy. Oh, but inside it's empty. Oh no, that's terrible. We'll add a color. We'll fill it up with with yellow. All right, there. Look, nice yellow color there. And you can keep that. Um, you can add text. You can say like big text in there. Uh, I am robot. Okay, that's good. Uh, no backspace. You can center, justify it, or whatever. Align to center. Um. Then, oh, you can also, you can, like, make this text really big. And you can change the color. Alright, it's going to be red, or it's going to be blue. Alright, that's blue. Okay, um, say you want something uh, less thick, less dense. You want to change the, oh, that's an alignment. We want to change the opacity, make it almost like a little bit transparent. We can select the object and you can move that. Oh, look, you can see some of the stuff behind there. Uh, you can align stuff to other stuff. This software is really good for, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, you can snap to nodes. I like using this software. I, you, you can use Adobe or you know InDesign, or, but you know you don't have to pay money for that. And if you don't want to pay money, then you can go open source. Hmm, yummy beverage. 
Okay, uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you want to put in, yeah, just graphics. You can import them. Um, uh, let me show you what, why the scalable vector graphics are better than uh, raster images. I'll just import that. So here we have our Game Breaker Nation logo. If I take uh, this thing, I can scale it up really, really big, and it, it, all the lines are still perfect. All the letters are still perfect. But if you take a, a image like this, like a bitmap or something, and you scale it up, notice all this pixelation thing, all this uh, blurriness. That's why the scalable vector graphics are well, better for scaling. Right? All right, so that's that's my. Oh, we don't want it that big, so we can see it in game. Um, another thing you might, if you're if you want to be like perfect on, you can make the boxes, um, you know, whatever size you want. So you you made a box there. You can set it. You can set the height and width of the box. So say you're running uh, ten, nine twenty by ten eighty, ten eighty. There, that's perfect. 920 by 1080, and you can set that like right on top of your, on top of your screen cap. Eyeball it there, and then, well, I got this all this yellow stuff. Well, I want to remove all the fill. Okay, there, the fill's all removed, and you got a perfect. Well, kind of, you can eyeball it better than I did. So then, we're done. You can also remove the stroke, so we don't need the picture. But we see we have this outline here. Oh, that looks nice. We can even remove the outline, the the stroke. We can remove that. Now you have nothing. I don't know if I can pick it, but we can grab it all and see. There it is. It's still still there. Oh, I can't grab it. And we're going to we're going to export it, and it'll be a PNG, and that will be it. So we'll grab our export bitmap, and then we'll put it on our desktop here, uh, desktop, and we'll call it uh, Guild Wars 2 Overlay. Call it Iverlay. Okay, that's okay. All right, there we go, and it's done, and then we're finished, yay! And so we have our nice little overlay right here. Oh, look, it's got a little bit of space here on top, and a little bit of space on the bottom there. And all right, that looks good. And then we need to add that to our stream. And pretend I'm streaming. I'm not streaming, but so we'll add something here, an image. I'm going to add the image and browse. It's on the desktop. Uh, it's called Iverlay. And, okay. Oh, look. It's on top of my stream here. That's not a stream. And then we go into the game. And I can't see it in my game because I'm only using one monitor. But it is streaming. Oh, look. Yeah, we have the this thing covered up here, I think. And this is kind of transparent. That would be like a watermark. You could do a watermark. Like that. And you got this. In game, I see everything. I see my chat. I see my everything. But it's just on the stream. It's covered up. So yay. Jump, jump. I'm happy. And that's pretty much it. So uh, now go make your own stuff. Get your Inkscape. And... Uh, yeah. What else do you need? Your OBS and have oh, you get a better microphone than I have and have fun streaming. So bye bye. Bye.